In this video, we're gonna be revisiting the cheating and uncheated system that we made before, but this time as a request from a viewer, we are also gonna be making it so we can have actual sheets. So I have my third person character open right here, and as you can see, I have a child actor, which is the weapon attached to my character. This is how I do usually most of the stuff, but if you have your own equipment system, just make sure to watch the video, and the logic is gonna be basically the exact same, so you can apply it to almost any system. So first I'm gonna select my mesh, then I'm gonna click on add, and I'm gonna add a static mesh, and I'm gonna call it sheet. And this is gonna be the actual sheet. In the static mesh, we can now select whatever sheet we want. And I'm gonna be using this weapon prototype asset pack that I have from FAP. I'm gonna leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. So I'm gonna search for one hand sword and I want to get the sheet because this is the sheet that's matching with the weapon that I have currently equipped. Then we want to socket it to our mesh. And since I want it to be kind of on my hip area, I'm gonna go and click on this little icon and I'm gonna parent it to pelvis. And then I'm just gonna manipulate it to the side and rotate it just so that it roughly matches where I want it to be but obviously you can just attach it and play around with it so it fits perfectly to whatever you want. Then we also want to set it to have no collision so I'm just gonna scroll down and instead of block all dynamic I want to set it to no collision otherwise it could collide with our player. With that we can go into the event graph and I'm gonna use this keybind for Q but you can obviously use something else and make a proper keybind I'm just gonna be using this as testing purpose. Then we are gonna create a custom event so right click and search for custom event and I'm gonna call this draw weapon then I'm gonna control D to duplicate it and then I'm gonna press F2 to rename this custom event and I'm gonna call this sheet weapon then we are gonna get our weapon which is my child actor and I'm gonna get our sheet and then I'm also gonna get my mesh then I'm gonna drag from my weapon and I'm gonna search for attach components to component and the one you want to select is the attach components to component not attach actor to component however in some cases depending on your system you might want to use the attach actor to component so just play around with it and see what works for your specific system. Then I'm gonna plug that into draw weapon and then I'm gonna take the mesh and I'm gonna plug that into parent and then I'm gonna set all three of these rules to snap to target. Then we need to fill in our socket name and this is gonna be the socket that we have the weapon parented to. So if I go into the viewport and I click on the weapon I can see that it's parented to hand R. So I can just select it, control C to copy it, go into the event graph and then just paste it into the socket name and that's basically it here. So so I can just select the attach component to component, control D to duplicate it, plug it into the sheet weapon and in here we want the sheet variable and then we want the weapon as well so I'm gonna control D to duplicate it. We want to set the weapon into target and then sheet as a parent and this time we need to add a socket in the sheet but most sheets as a static mesh don't have a socket so what you can do is you can just select it then double click it in here as the static mesh and as you can see my already has a socket but maybe yours doesn't so all you have to go is into the socket manager which you can also find in the windows if you don't have it here and then just click on plus and move it wherever you want and basically where you want to place it is gonna depend on the weapon itself because the way this logic works is that it's gonna snap the pivot point to the socket which means since most weapons are gonna have the pivot point set where you would normally hold the weapon which in case of something like a sword is gonna mean that it's gonna be around the handle and then there is a cross guard and some space in between that so you want to pull position it in a way down here so that it's not overlapping with the sheet but you can always play around with it and change it as you want and then you can rename the socket as well mine is just called weapon but you can name it whatever you want we can go back into our player character under the sheet weapon we can just socket the name so for me that's weapon and obviously yours gonna be called differently and that's all we need to do so if we compile this and then i'm just gonna do from key we can drag from press and search for flip flop and all he needs to do is just attach these events so I can go and search for draw weapon and then shield weapon. Then if we compile this and go into play, when I press Q, as you can see we are cheating it and uncheating it again. However, if we want to add an animation to it, then there is going to be a bit of a different process. So if you just wanted to snap like this, that's fine. But if you want to add an animation, we are going to do that right now. So I'm going to delete these two calls to the event. I'm going to move this a little bit to the side and I'm going to search for play and montage. And I'm gonna put it up here and I'm gonna duplicate it and I'm gonna plug it into B and A. And obviously we are gonna need some animations. So I have these two animations. One is for equipping and the other one is for unequipping. So I'm gonna select both of these, right click and then create and create an montage. And then I'm gonna open the first one, which is the drawing one. And then I want to find a point at which the hand is on the handle, but not quite already in the motion. So somewhere around like here or so. Then we are gonna right click on the animal 
notify drag add a notify new notify and i'm gonna name this draw weapon and then we can just save this and close this and then we can go into content drawer again and go for the other animation montage and here it's gonna be basically the same logic where we if we pause it we want to find a place where the sword is kind of in the sheet but the hand is not moving away from the sword so somewhere around like here so we are gonna right click on the anime notify again add notify new notify and i'm gonna call this sheet weapon and that's all we need to do here you can add sounds and stuff like that if you want to i'm not gonna do that and we can close this anime montage and then we can go into the content drawer and we can drag the equip anime montage into the first one and then the other unequip one into the second one and i'm gonna change the play rate for these animations because they are quite fast to like 0.5 and now we need to actually call this event so for that i'm gonna select the mesh and then under here we have the animation and anime class so i'm gonna click on the browse to asset and this is gonna open my animation blueprint and i'm gonna go into abp many instead of queen because queen is parented to many so we want to do the changes here and here we can call this anime notify so if we right click and search for draw weapon we can get anime notified draw weapon if you are not getting these make sure that you saved those anime montages and if you are still not getting these then you can restart unreal engine since it sometimes doesn't save stuff properly and that could fix it then we are going to search for sheet weapon and if you already did something in your animation blueprint you might already have a reference to your player i don't have that so i'm gonna instead cast it to the player so i'm gonna drag from the draw weapon and i'm gonna search for cast to third person character then I'm gonna drag from the object and search for get player character. Now I'm gonna take these two nodes, Ctrl D to duplicate it and plug that into the sheet weapon because we are gonna be doing the same thing. And then we just need to call the events that we created. So for draw weapon, we are gonna search for the draw weapon. It should be under the call function. And in here we are gonna do the same thing with the sheet weapon. Then we can compile and save this. And that's all we need to do. So we can go back into our player character, make sure it's compiled and safe. Go into the play mode. It's gonna get sheeted if we unsheet it and so on. Now one thing you might have noticed is that it's kind of weirdly in my hand. This is because I don't have a separate socket on my skeleton for holding the weapon. It's just parented to hand R. But since you, most of you will have the socket already on your skeleton for holding weapons, it will look just fine. So I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, leave a like and subscribe. It helps out a lot. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.